You like that fancy picking, don't you? <laughs> Think about old Noah sitting on his front porch, eating lasagna that he cooked with a torch. Hey, when you're Italian, it shows up in everything. He was halfway through a meatball when the Lord spoke. He said, boy, you're going to be busy for a while, building an ark from a huge wood pile. Old Noah's eyes got biggest baseballs, and he almost choked. Well, he told his family what was going down, and they listened intently to him. And nobody fought or fussed or frowned, because nobody knew how to swim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, the rains came, they was all safe inside. They didn't get wet or nothing. Noah obeyed, cause when God speaks, everybody listens, even E.F. Hutton. God don't care what the circumstance, or even if the future's looking dim. God don't want some big old song and dance. Just wants your faith and trust in him. Okay. Next verse is about a guy named David. Now, when he was just a kid, he ran into some problems. But he trusted in the Lord. This was one of them. Little David must have just been in his teens when he faced Goliath of the Philistines. He was armed with just a slingshot and some stones. Well, Goliath was a giant, strong as a tank, and when he looked at men, their stomach sank. And there stood little David all alone. With faith in God, he flung his sling, and much to their surprise, he killed that monster with a stone that nailed him between the eyes. Then decapitated his fallen foe and made sure he was dead and showed everyone there he was someone who really knew how to get ahead. <laughs> what the servant it's, it's in the Bible, it's there. Look in the hell. Trust in him. <laughs> you thought I was gonna blow it, didn't you? <laughs> okay, David grew up, faced a whole new set of circumstances, problems. King David was smitten down to his socks. When his eyes caught that Bathsheba fox I just write him the way God gives him to me, folks <laughs> His resistance was so shook that he backslid he went and had her husband killed, thinking his dreams would be fulfilled, but God will make a wish that he never did. The Lord punished him severe for being stupid as an ape. But David's faith was strong, and God soon pulled him back in shape. Now there's a lesson to be learned here about dealing with temptation. You keep your eyes on the Creator, man, and not on creation <laughs> what the circumstance or even if future's looking dead well my god he don't want some big old song and dance he just wants your faith and trust he just wants your faith and trust he just wants your faith